Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today, we're diving into one of the most jaw-dropping operations in modern naval history, U.S. nuclear submarines breaking through polar ice during ice -X. In this episode, we'll explore how these underwater titans dominate the Arctic, their cutting-edge tech, and why surfacing through ice is as insane as it sounds. Get ready for some frosty waters ahead. Imagine a 377-foot-long steel behemoth smashing through three feet of solid Arctic ice. Yeah, that's not science fiction. It's just another day at the office for America's nuclear subs. To understand the significance of ice -X, we need to rewind to the Cold War era, when the Arctic became a strategic chessboard. Back then, controlling icy waters meant mastering undersea warfare, and the U.S. Navy was all in. By the late 1950s, innovations like nuclear propulsion transformed submarines from short-range vessels into global powerhouses. But operating in the Arctic? That was still a nightmare waiting to happen. Take the USS Hartford, SSN-768, for example, a Los Angeles-class sub packed with Tomahawk missiles and advanced sonar systems. This beast wasn't just built to lurk, it was designed to dominate any environment, even freezing wastelands. Think about it, its hull can withstand crushing pressures, while sensors track targets miles away. But here's the kicker, it's also equipped with special upward-looking sonar to navigate beneath shifting ice sheets. Cool? Sure. Affordable? Not so much. During ice -X exercises, these subs prove their worth by conducting Arctic transits, surfacing dramatically, and running drills. While they're nightmares for adversaries, maintaining them costs taxpayers billions annually, a logistical headache wrapped in titanium. Sure, these subs are marvels of engineering, but let's not kid ourselves. Surfacing through ice isn't exactly eco-friendly or cheap. And don't get me started on the maintenance nightmares caused by saltwater corrosion. Critics argue that focusing on Arctic dominance might be overkill, given current geopolitical priorities. Others claim it's essential for countering Russian ambitions up north. The truth? Probably somewhere in between. But hey, who doesn't love a good debate? At the end of the day, U.S. nuclear submarines smashing through polar ice represent both innovation and ambition. They remind us that naval power isn't just about flashy hardware. It's about strategy, guts, and cold hard cash. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Arctic Ops, hit that like button, subscribe, and share the video. What do you think about ICEX? Would you trust a nuke sub to bust through ice if your life depended on it? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and supporting Military Forces Unleashed. Your engagement keeps this channel sailing smoothly, pun absolutely intended. Until next time, stay sharp and keep exploring the untold stories of military might.